your name and where are you from? My name is Gilbert Akabi and I'm from Ghana. It was formerly called the Gold Coast. We were colonized by the British until we received our independence in 1957 under Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, a very enigmatic leader. We recently lost our president, John Evans Santa Mills, also a very good man, motivated. We have a very rich culture and very diverse people. We have over 200 dialects depending on where you're from in the country. The country is split into 10 regions. That's the Northing, Upper East, Upper West, Central, Easting, Volta region, Greater Accra region. Greater Accra region actually has our capital, which is Accra. That also has the seat of government in there. We are prominent for being one of the largest producers of cocoa, which is used to do a lot of chocolate products, a lot of candy. And also, we recently got a lot of prominence too because we, did, we, we discovered oil. And um, our national team, soccer team, has been doing very well. In the last World Cup, we actually performed, outperformed most of the other, other countries that went along with us from Africa. We uh, have a lot of, like I said, we have a lot of um, cultural influ influences from the Caribbean. We are very traditional, very uh, diverse people. How was living in Ghana like? Growing up? Ghana is a very relatively stable country. Living there was very, I, I appreciate the, the time I spent there. Living there was very relaxed, it was very calm. I, I loved my childhood, I had a lot of friends, you know, and um, the influence from both your Christian background and your traditional background always comes into play. Growing up was, was wonderful. We do, every, we do everything that every regular child would do get into trouble, you know, play around and. Uh, it was, it, it, it's basically the same for every kid everywhere. I was, how do I say it? I would say I was privileged to live in a much more, you know, urban area as opposed to a rural area in Africa. Which other countries did you spend your time in? I, I used to visit a lot of countries. Uh, basically, my dad was, like I said, I was fortunate to have it, parents who were capable of doing that, being as where I'm from. I've vis visited places like the, in the UK, I've visited London. I've also visited countries, neighboring, neighboring countries like um, Sierra Leone, Liberia. So I'd say I'd have, I've had a culturally diverse childhood, yes. Tell us about your family. Well, uh, I come from a family of six, my mom, my dad, and I have three sisters. And I'm the last born, so uh, a lot of love flows down. <laughs> so That's I'd say I, I, I love my family. My, my dad, as I said, is a very motivated man, also a very focused man. He was able, I believe he's been able to provide very well for his family, considering where we find ourselves to be. Um, he met my mom when they were quite young, so they were a very vibrant couple. And uh, I think basically they, 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 they decided that if the fourth kid was a, fe was a female as well, they'll just give up on the fact of having a son. So com me coming in was a very happy moment for them, a very joyous moment for them. Um, I love my family. My, my sisters are amazing, you know, young ladies. They, 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 I take my spirit, my drive from them as well from my mom and my dad. And uh, I'd say we are just a little bundle of joy, our very own Brady Bunch to say. And what do you do for fun? Okay, well, um, I'm currently here with my sister. She's also pursuing a degree, a, a master's degree at UMKC. When she's also less busy, which is we try to coordinate and then we try to have a little a fun experience together. We usually hop on the bus like everyone else here. It's the cheapest, fastest means of transportation. And, you know, head to places like the plaza, try to have some coffee, you know, take a walk, try to see a new thing all the time. We, we, and you do see a new thing all the time in Kansas City. And what do you want to do after you get your degree from the United States? To be the most profound chemical engineer that could be found anywhere. Of course, uh, more realistically, I want to make very serious differences in my country. I would like to, to help um, the engineering field back home to be able to develop more uh, ways of efficiency, owing to the fact that we, c we, c we do not have enough resources to spare as it is. We need to be vo very dynamic, we need to be very, um, um, how do I say, we need to be very, uh, think very fast on our, on our feet. We, we need more engineers to be able to manage the system 
Um, we have a neighboring country known as Nigeria. They also have a lot of oil. They've had it for a while. But um, I think owing to misproper management and all that, it, it, it's not benefiting the, root, the people itself, the grassroots people, as it should. So I, I think more engineers are needed in our sub-region to help keep our system stable especially the oil, the oil system, that is the fuel right now for the world. So if we can manage that system effectively, we can create money for the people as well as money for the um, investors that might come from United States, the UK, European investors as well. That's awesome. What would you like to say to the American people? Well, I'd, I'd, I'm sure they get this a lot, but I'd like to say that um, they, they, they are very welcoming people. They literally have your open arms right from the, the, your moment of entry into the country. You are, they, they are ready to learn and ready to you know, immerse themselves in your culture. They are they're, they're one of the most diverse, racially diverse countries in the world. And they would love to, I mean, they always love to welcome a new person. They always want to you know, keep somebody excited about the nation. They, they've developed several programs to help, in, um, how do I say, immerse the African in, in, the, in America as soon as you come in. I mean, in my college, there are a lot, there are a lot of programs for international students. We're, we're, we're always involved in special, you know, uh, we can, they organize special athletic programs for us, you know, meet and greet with our professors, get to talk and tell people who we are. And it's, it's, just, it's just something unique about the college experience in America as well as uh, very entertaining for me. I mean, the, uh, the, my experience in America, I can say, has just been one thrill ride after the next, especially in Missouri. Missouri, known as the fountain, I, I believe the Kansas City is known as the fountain city. It has a lot of fountains, and uh, it's, just, it's just wonderful just getting to see all this rather than read it. So it's, it's been wonderful for me. Most of the people I meet in the Midwest are very honest about the, you know, their interest to know who I am and where I'm from. I meet people on the bus and they just want to you know, know my whole life and just want to get to know me, know my name, my, my true, my African name. They want to be able to relate, especially with, my, with our African American brothers who believe their heritage is from us. They are more interested in trying to find ties to Africa and it's, it's just wonderful every day when I see stuff like that. You know, I, you back home you're used to seeing this on TV, to watch it in you know, fiction. But this is real. Now you are here. You can tell that the people are are real, and they are this loving and welcoming, and they really want to know who you are. So that is that is but that is it's a key thing. And I, I think I always sit and I appreciate the fact that I had this chance, you know, as opposed to be studying my country. Well, thank you, Mr. Gilbert Apabi. It's been wonderful speaking to you.